The attempt is a try and a resolution is often reached at a tribunal. Let's look at these scores. Andrew's on 20 and Rhonda is on 22, making it a very tight game tonight as we head into our final rounds. And uh, the last letters, please, Rhonda. Nelly, may I please have a consonant? Thanks, Rhonda. C. And another consonant? M. And I'll have a vowel this time? O. And another vowel, please? E. And another vowel, please? A. And I'll have a consonant, please. S. And another consonant. G. And another consonant. N. And a vowel, please. And last letter, I. Time starts now. Did you go with those last chosen letters, Rhonda? Seven. Seven sounds good. Andrew? And I've got a seven as well. Let's have yours first. Cummings. And Rhonda? Ceasing. Ceasing. Now, are you happy with the plural of Cummings? The plural is fine, Richard, because coming is here listed as a, uh, a noun, a rival, and because there's no uh, internal spelling shift, Cummings is fine. A good play, Andrew. Ceasing is also fine. We're in for a uh, close finish. I looked at that ING. Uh, as well, but then I looked at the A-G-E as a possible suffix and found coinage, something that is created, and therefore coinages for eight is there as well. Very nice eight, David, but good sevens for both Rhonda and Andrew. Still only two points between them as we head for these very last numbers. Now, Andrew, there is, this is a chance to shake things up a bit. You're a numbers man. Go brave. Five small and one large. Thanks, Lily. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Five small and one large. And our numbers. One, five, three, five, eight, and the large, 100. The target to reach is 506. We're chasing it. a very wild numbers mix after all. Andrew, I'm assuming you got there? Absolutely. And Rhonda, yes. no problems? Okay. I think we should just go through the formalities and uh, you could explain what you did. Uh, five times 100 equals 500. Five times 100 is 500. Plus five. Plus the five. Plus the one. Plus the one. Is 506. Well done. Very nicely done. Pretty straightforwardly done. Rhonda, did you do exactly it the same way? The same exactly way. the same way. Could you just uh, verify? So I think we've got a little bit of an adrenaline deficit here, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that random number generator just makes it a little too easy, and that was one of these occasions. You didn't have some wild variation on that, did you? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> but ten very good points each for Rhonda and Andrew. So there's still only that two-point gap. 37 for Andrew. Rhonda on 39. And with that two-point gap, and of course, ten points up for grabs in this final game, it means that for the second night this week in a row, we are down to a conundrum decider. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Rhonda, very quick. I think it's wrong, though. Blameless, I said. Didn't I'm I? afraid that yes. is incorrect, so I'm going to restart the clock, and, Andrew, you have the remaining time. But 
unfortunately no buzzer from Andrew, so let's have a look at the conundrum solution tonight. And it is assembled. So our scores are unchanged, and that means with a margin of two points on 39, our winner tonight is Rhonda. But Andrew, it was a very close game. And a close game is a good game and an exciting game, so thank you for that. And, of course, a Macquarie Dictionary for you. Thank you. Rhonda, well, you played well once again, and that means we will have you back in that champion's chair tomorrow. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Well, David, two conundrum showdowns in a row this week. Maybe another tomorrow. Fingers crossed. See you then. See you then. And good night, Lily. See you tomorrow. Good night, Richard. And that is our show for this evening. From all of the team here at Letters and Numbers, thanks for playing, and we hope you can join us again tomorrow night. Good night.